We all like to win something for nothing, but can you take it to an extreme? We'll take a look at these sweepers and then decide. People who are obsessed with entering sweepstakes in the hopes of striking it rich, even if they have to fill out forms all day long like a full-time job to do it, they are in it to win it. Here's John Berman. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're about to surprise Joseph Bean with a million-dollar super prize. The sweepstakes, it is the ultimate celebration. Oh, you have no idea what this just did to our lives. Rapture meets riches, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Guess what? I'm sure no one's watched. Except for some people. So I've probably entered about 800,000. 2 million, 700 to 2,100 entries a week. I literally do nothing but enter 8 to 10 hours a day. These people are serious about their sweepstakes. So serious, they have a nickname, Sweepers. Now the subject of TLC's High Stakes Sweepers. And they don't just enter, they win. In the last 10 years, I've won almost $250,000 in prizes. Three plasma TVs. I won trips to Hawaii, to Nashville, uh, cash. I actually in a contest, a monthly contest to win a toilet seat. Sweeping is a passion and a profession. My first year doing this, I proved I can make $70,000, $80,000 a year just in sweepstaking eight hours a day. And we'll go down to the next one in line and uh, we'll enter that one as well. I've won a little over a million dollars in cash and prizes. You heard that right, a million dollars. You can see the evidence all over Red Fortuna's Virginia Beach home. This is the third dishwasher I've won, fourth stove I've won, the fourth set of washer and dryers. I haven't had to put out my own money to buy appliances since about the 70s. <laughs> I've been winning those things that you go like this with. <laughs> so wait. I don't even own one. You're winning things you don't even know what they are. I don't even know what they are. Rhett has been at this for 50 years. And what got you hooked? I guess that first win. And what was that first win? I had to send twin popsicle wrappers to the Pinky Lee Show. And now... And I won this huge doll. What do you love about it? The dream. They're giving away $100,000 or a TV or a, a, an a, a iPad I could give to my son or that kind of thing. What has Sweet Stakes enabled you to do? I raised my boys by myself and I couldn't afford a lot. And I was able to give my children things that I couldn't otherwise afford. Do you think you're going to win every time you, you enter? Every time. Really? Yes. It's a passion, an obsession, and a process. Every morning I get up around 5.30 a.m. and I will enter sweepstakes for about four hours. This is ready to go out in the mail. All sweepers agree you have to put in the time. You can't win if you don't enter, and I enter everything. My strategy to sweep is simply enter. Enter and enter and enter. Is winning more about skill or luck? Skill and observance. You don't believe in luck at all? I don't think so. Well, People tell me, so oh, you're so lucky. It's a win. I know it's a win. I said, well, did you enter? No. I said, well, that's why I won. It wasn't luck. It was that I put the effort. You have to work it. That means the mail. That means the internet. And that means the grocery store. You don't just shop. You sweep. Wow, $25,000. $25,000. Oh, I can show you that. With a group of sweeping friends. Some entry forms for the store up the street. Rhett's supermarket trips are a chance to find new contests. In the summertime, that's when all the beer sweeps are. The IP access had the music events. We're going to be buying a lot of beer today. There are some other strategies. I like all the online promotions better because they're easier to enter, it's free to enter, and you can win instantly. I try to use different colored envelopes. Uh, my kids help me decorate them. Hopefully they'll stand out and attract attention. More than 100 million Americans enter sweepstakes every year. Robert Hoffman in California wants his entries to be special. All right, maybe those will be lucky ones. 
mailing my entries in different mailboxes in different cities might put it into the different place so that it's all mixed in a little bit differently into the bin. The sweepstakes that I think probably provide the best odds are probably the online one-day entry sweepstakes. All this entering means occasionally you do win some unusual items. We each won beer for a year. I didn't win the grand prize, but I did win the gnome, and I love him. Rhett doesn't even enter sweepstakes for trips anymore. Where have you won trips to? Won a couple trips to Vegas, New Orleans, Nashville, Texas, California, Barbados, Disney World. I've been everywhere. I took my kids with me everywhere I went. Um, and, I, and, and so for the past 10 years, I don't do trips anymore. And there are some other drawbacks. I probably spend $4,000 a year on stamps and other supplies. And what about taxes? How much in taxes have you paid, do you, do you think, in your sweepstakes weddings over the years? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> a lot? A lot. <laughs> but if you are a committed sweeper, and these folks clearly are, it is all worth it for just one sound. Like most sweepers know, you can hear this sort of banging, rattling sound of a truck coming up the street. All right, thank you. Thank you. My favorite part of the day is going out to check the mail every day. Hey, what is that? The most exciting part of my day is when I hear a delivery truck or my mailman. That means that I may win that day. Tickets, French fries for a year. $1,000! No way, I won. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much. Are you addicted, do you think? I want to tell you no, but I, but I know when I don't see sweets for a couple of days, it drives me crazy. Yes, I probably am. I have a FedEx. Is here. Let's go see. The TLC series High Stakes Sweepers airs August 14th.